Hello, Southeastern family. It's Adrian. Now, you may not recognize me so easily because last time you saw me, I didn't have a mustache and goatee. And if you like, shoot me an email or text and let me know what you think. Well, anyway, in my capacity as lead elder, I feel that I am responsible for communication and coordination with the congregation. So, as communities try and emerge from the restrictions of the COVID pandemic, I wanted to share with you all some of the thoughts and positions of the leadership of Southeastern. One situation at the forefront of many people's minds is our return to worship. We want you to know that a plan for our return to worship has been built. The plan was put together by a team led by David McElwain and has been approved by the full leadership. The plan focuses on the safety and protection of our most vulnerable brothers and sisters and considers our paternal families as well as our spiritual family. Now, as communicated before, the leadership has promised you a two-week notice prior to us meeting again in person. We believe that we may be approaching that time and have been watching for multiple signals, as well as considering government guidelines in that decision. When we decide the timing of the return, the plan will be distributed in multiple channels, through our bulletin, an email, and our web pages, so that you are informed about what it is we think we need to do in order to be able to come back together safely. Now, please abide by these guidelines of the plan, because all of us aren't at the same level of risk, when we come back together, and all of us certainly don't have the same level of risk tolerance. So, for the sake of your brothers and sisters, when we come back together again, please know, understand, and apply those guidelines. Now, as a representative of our leadership, I share this. Whether two weeks or two months before we come back together, we want you to understand that our fellowship and our physical gathering is very important to us, but it does not define us as Christians. It is not the limit of our spirituality. Our mission to love God, to love people, and make a difference in the world is certainly not confined to 6500 Southeastern Avenue. Even now, we should live out our mission. If you don't know it, we have 42 ministries at Southeastern Church of Christ. Because some lead multiple ministries, we have about 39 ministry leaders. Now, some time ago, we brought those ministry leaders down front at the church and commissioned them in these ministries. And on these ministries, we've asked them for their mission statements to show how their ministry missions support the larger mission at the Southeastern family. Now, we'll be asking them also for quarterly reports to see how the work is going, what challenges they are facing, and most importantly, so that we may fully understand how we, the body at Southeastern, can help them in their missions and their ministries. Why? Why am I telling you all of this? And why is this? It is important for two reasons. The leadership understands that if we are to live out our mission at Southeastern, the ministry leaders will play a vital role in that success. Secondly, explaining this to you helps you understand where you fit into the mission at Southeastern. The ministry support, encouragement, and cooperation from its brothers and sisters is vitally needed. They need your engagement. Join in the work of a ministry or in multiple ministries. It is not unrealistic for the leadership that cares for your spiritual growth to expect each member of Southeastern family to put their hand in at least one ministry. Why? Because it links you to our mission, God's mission at Southeastern. And congregating around a mission is much more vital to our spiritual journey and your spiritual growth than us physically congregating at an address. If you have any questions about a ministry or what you can do to do a, be a part of a ministry, please contact me or any of the elders. We can guide you. We will be more than happy to assist you in connecting to the mission at Southeastern. So please continue to pray for each other. Contact each other. Take the opportunity to build or fortify a new relationship during this time. Because though these are challenging times, our God is bigger than any challenge we face. I hope to see you soon. Love you and God bless.